So let's talk about the elevation from the first album to the second one, because it seems like it only got better. It was like we got 2 a.m. on the first one, and then the second album, we got multiple hits that everybody loves. So let's talk about how you feel about that elevation from your first album to your second one. Um, I feel like I took more time to try to make it coordinate. Right. I, I took time. The first album was really like, it was you. Yeah. It was you. I made this song 2 a.m. And, and if you didn't know, Cuddy was the one that also inspired me to make It's 2 a.m. somewhere, if you didn't know. Because mm. he's like, hey, why don't you just put an album out? You have all these songs, but I'll just put an album. And really was like on it, you know? So that's where that came from. The second one, I was like, that was just like songs I had. It was like my first time, you know? Um, the second one was more of like, I had something to talk about. I had more of a, uh, like reason. Yeah, goal, yeah, yeah. A reason. Right. You know? Um, but I feel like there were still a couple of things that could have been tweaked. I know this third project is going to be, it's going to be on point. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. So I actually want to talk about, so you said, you know, it took you a little time to make the first album because, you know, you wanted it to be good. And mm -hmm. the second album, you had a reason for dropping it. How long does it take you to normally drop an album? And what goes through your mind when you're picking the tracks? Like, okay, I want to put this one on there. I want to put this one on there. Um... So, all right, basically I make songs all the time. And then when I feel like I have enough to make an album with a similar type vibe, or at least they all, you know, kind of tell a story or something like that. Um, or even if it's just whatever's going on in my life at that time, summarized into songs. If I get the whole, the whole story, um, I'll put them in a list and then I'll go through all the songs I make in my free time, the freestyles, the rough drafts, whatever. I may have to finish this good, cool idea, but I didn't, think it all the way through or I didn't do background harmonies whatever and then I'll finish the album like that um, of course during that time then you have like the business side of things going on which might take a long time and then after a while this literally happens every time right, right, That's why right. I'm explaining it. <laughs> and then you know you're waiting you're waiting and then you're making songs in the meantime and you don't really feel the same way but you kind of feel the same so now you're like swapping songs out right. you know switching shit you know you might have 30 songs and 10 of them are going on a project, 15 of them are going on a project, and it's like, but you might make one tomorrow where you're like, no, this song has to be number one. Right, right, right. So it's really just that artist, that's that's why it takes so long, but honestly, how long it would take, it's taken about two years at a time to okay. complete complete my album. Right. Um, I think Magic was made the next year after I dropped the first one, but right now, I would say it's about three years, two and a half years, something like that, three years, Okay. I think. But hey, it's coming. Right? It's the right third one's coming, so it's just chill, coming. just chill. Uh, I, I want to talk about. So you have been indie, but you've also stumbled across a couple of major like management situations. You know, just other situations <clears throat> that's brought you big shows and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. What's the biggest thing you've learned in them situations? Not doing it yourself, but having somebody assist you. Hmm. The oh. biggest thing that I've learned. Yeah. I don't know how to say this for it to like be completely understood, but like they just zoom out the picture for you. Okay. Just look at everything. 